So, life happens, and here we are. And we are, for whatever reason, incarnate at one of the most radical times in human history. The most radical bit has yet to come. I think we're walking straight into absolute chaos. And I think we've incarnated because we want to be here. I just don't really believe in coincidence. I think there is an immense intelligence that's running the show. And we're all facets of that intelligence. Then we're here to remember who and what we are and why we are, and it's not what we've been taught and it's not what we've been conditioned with. This is not what humanity is supposed to be. It's just not. We are made of this planet. She is in us. We are her. We're breathing her. She's breathing us. So we've got oceans and rivers and rain in our blood. We're made of the rocks and the fire, and we act as if somehow we're superior. It's so upside down as to be astonishing. But the amazing thing about being lost is being found. So we're the ones who are standing at that point of greatest lostness where untruth is like prevailing, which means the flip from radical bullshit to radical truth is sitting in our hands. And the thing is, we're encoded with it. Because we're not bullshit. And we're not designed for lies, we're designed to ring with truth. We're designed with the truth because we are the truth, because we are nature. We've just got to deal with this weird ego crap that is so well indoctrinated. And then the conditioned traumas that we've got bedded down like sedimentary rock in our systems that feel so pervasive and that contort us and contract us into what we're not. Collective consciousness is rooted in consumption. We're called consumers. We're not called restorers. We're not even called citizens anymore. We're labeled by the act of taking, which is remarkably disrespectful to the brilliance and the love and the capacity for care. I do not believe the world is thriving in the guise of the world consumer. I do not believe that how we are existing as human beings is creating happiness. It's relationship that is missing. It's the heart that is missing. We've turned our relationship with this planet into something of a commodity as if somehow if we trash the whole thing just to make money, we're going to survive and we're not. The reality is that inside each of us is a different truth that is accessible. You just gotta figure out how to hit it. It's like being a tuning fork, tuning to the integrity of or the authenticity of a human being. You know, being that thing, creating a frequency that holds such a level of truth that is commissioned to come home to yourself. And then as soon as you've made that shift and there's an opening, there's a curiosity what is unlived in each of us? There's no excuse anymore to sit on our gifts or our generosity or our brilliance or our radical behaviors. Time for radical. Our collective brilliance has to be the thing that brings us through. And if you have an idea, it's time for it. And if you haven't got the guts to do it, find somebody who'll hold your hand because they'll believe in you. And that has to be the way forward. <laughs>